So you think that's what was going on behind closed doors last night? I don't know what was going on, but the mere fact that he confiscated the cell phone so people could not be sending messages while he was speaking from the heart, I presume, I think that that is just an indication of the arrogance of this president and this administration. It's not just not wanting people to communicate with the outside world. He obviously felt that the attendees had short memories. So if you take away the phone, you may not be able to remember what you, what you heard, so you can't tell people later. But here's an even bigger egregious act, silencing his opposition. This is downright tyranny. I'm sure you've heard about some of the cases, for example, this businessman out west by the name of Frank Van der Sloot, yeah. because he contributed to Mitt Romney, because he contributed to Mitt Romney, he's now put, been put on a list on a website where he gets intimidated. This is not the, I, I challenge everybody out there that voted for Obama or who believes that they are a Democrat or a liberal. Do you want these kind of tactics used in this country in order to get elected? If you honestly believe that, then you don't believe in the Democratic Republican anymore. You believe in the tyranny that this administration and this president is trying to impose on the American people. To be clear, Vandersloot's wife apparently gave money to a campaign uh, against yes. uh, gay marriage. And so for that reason, uh, he and his wife were targeted.